All right, guys, so now what I want to do is show you guys how to play the animation. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and play it whenever the user taps the screen. Because remember, what this game is going to do, whenever they tap the screen, this little dude is going to shoot a bullet out. So whenever they tap, that's when we're going to want to play the animation, obviously. So I'm going to add a comment for animate the shooter. And we can actually just override touches began and boom method built in for us. So again, this is going to be called anytime the user touches this screen. So the first thing we need to do obviously is get a reference to that shooter node, get a reference to this little dude right here. So if we say, and Xcode is tweaking out. All right. Let shooter node, just name them the same thing. Self, child node with name. And remember we named it shooter node. All right, so that's a reference to the dude. Now it's always a good idea to, if shooter node is not equal to nil, just make sure that we have them because that way before we call a bunch of actions on them, we can verify that it actually exists then we don't have any errors or anything. So for the animation, OMG, this is how you create it. So SK action, animate with textures, and it takes two parts. The first part is saying, all right, an animation is pretty much a list of images and I need to play them for a certain period of time. So first, give me a list of images. Well, look at that. We already have one called Shooter Animation that we built in the last tutorial. Now, time per frame is the second piece of data. How long do you want me to play those images for? And you might want to have it like less than 0 0.1. So this is a tenth of a second. And um, that might be kind of choppy, but I just want to make sure that on YouTube, you guys can see that it is playing and it doesn't um, appear too fast for my screen recorder. So we'll see how that looks. Again, in real life, when you're making a real game, you might want to put it like half of that. But for uh, these tutorials, that's pretty good. So this creates an animation. The only other thing we have to do now is we need to call shooter node, which is that dude, and run action and pass our animation in there. So it says, okay, you're gonna pretty much make an animation, which means this image is gonna switch into a bunch of different images for a certain period of time. Where do you want it to occur? Well, just right on our shooter dude right there. So let me go ahead and play it and see how it looks. All right, so now hopefully whenever we click in our shooter scene, Check out what happens. And actually, let me slow him down because I'm not sure how this is going to appear. So I'm going to put it at a quarter of a second. But again, you never want to do this in a real game. You would probably want it at like 0.05 or 0.06 or something. But just so you guys can definitely see. All right. So obviously, we still need to make the bullets come out and have them actually travel across the screen and shoot some balls but right now we got that backfire effect and whenever we click he is shooting so pretty sweet that is how you build a really simple animation so now we can continue with the rest of the logic of the game